Hello everyone, it's Dr. David. How many of you have struggled in remembering those common lab values that you know are gonna appear in your nursing exams as well as your NCLEX, HESI, ATI, you name them. Now, how about if I show you an easy way to remember them? Make sure to watch. For calcium, all you have to think about is call 911. So your range should be between 9 and 11. Remember, depending on the facility, the range may vary by 0.5 milligrams per deciliter. And in the NCLEX and your exams, you will have critical lab values as part of your questions. Now for sodium, all I do is look at it as a math problem. 135 plus 10 equals 145. So your sodium range is 135 to 145. So the way I remember potassium is, when you buy bananas, usually there are between three to five in a bunch, and you always want to buy them half ripe. So the range is 3.5 to 5. The way I remember chloride is a chlorinated pool. So I'm going to go in the pool when it's about 95 to 105 degrees outside. The way I remember magnesium is when you have a magnifying glass, it is going to let you see things at 1.5 to 2.5 times bigger. So the range is 1.5 to 2.5. The way I remember BUN or BUN is that in a restaurant, when you buy a hamburger, it costs between 10 to $20. So the range is 10 to 20. For hemoglobin and hematocrit, make sure to remember that they're divided between females and males. The way I remember them is that females mature quicker than males between the ages of 12 to 16 years old. So the range for the female hemoglobin is 12 to 16. Males between 14 to 18. The way that I remember hematocrit is that you are going to times the hemoglobin by three. For example, to get the range for female is 12 times three, which is 36. And then you times 16 times 3 and that's going to give you the maximum range. So the range for female hematocrit is 36 to 48. You're going to do the same thing for the males. So for the male you're going to do 14 times 3 which is 42 and then 18 times 3 which is 54. Now the next lab value is the HA1C. This is the, a test that is done every three months for diabetics. And the normal range should be between four and six. So the way I remember it is that it is done every three months and the range is four to six. So if you look at it, it says three, four, five, six in consecutive order. Now let's do PTT. The way that I remember it and it works for me is by thinking about our teachers. How old are they? So that usually the proper teaching time or age is between 30 to 40 years old. So the range for PTT is between 30 to 40 seconds. Now if the patient is on heparin therapy, you know that we monitor the PTT to see if it is therapeutic. So the PTT in this case would be 1.5 to 2 times the normal PTT. And remember that protocols vary from institution to institution. So the therapeutic PTT range for heparin can be between 60 to 100 seconds and in some places the range can be 60 to 80 seconds. Another trick that can help you remember that we monitor PTT while on heparin therapy is that heparin, if you look at the P and the H, the H looks like TT, so if you look at them backwards, is PTT. Now let's talk about PT and INR. First, PT. PT, remember it as pre-teen years, which range between 10 to 15 years old. They have hit those double digits, but are still unable to drive. So the normal PT is between 10 to 15 seconds. Now let's talk about the INR. 
The normal INR range is 1 or below. However, an INR range of 2.0 to 3.0 is generally an effective therapeutic range for people taking warfarin or Coumadin. So remember it like counting 1 to 3. INR is 1, but if I'm Coumadin, between 2 to 3. Now remember, PT and INR are often done at the same time to check for bleeding problems. So a way that you can use to remember that they come together is by using the acronym PILLS taken regularly. P in pills, T and IN in taken, and R regularly. Lastly, let's go over phosphorus. Now this is a fun one to remember and it helps me remember it in this way. For example, the word phosphorus, you know the P-H-O and pho sounds like four. So we'll pretend this is a four, like the number four. Then the word us in phosphorus is like us, like you and I, one plus one is two. So us makes two. So the range for phosphorus is between two to four. However, if we get married and we have a child, that's like half of you and half of me. So the range is 2.5 to 4.5. Well, I hope that this video was helpful in you understanding the different lab values that you're going to see in your NCLEX, HESI, ATI, or your nursing exams. And make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, Dr. Registered Nurse, and share with your friends, as well as follow us on Instagram on their official Dr. Registered Nurse, where I put a lot of additional nursing material. Thank you for your time. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.